Over a period of years, there's been a collection of work within the school around elected bodies, representation and participation. Hugh Bockle, Professor of Public Policy. The collection analysis of Scottish Historical Collection results came about because there was no official source. We have collected them over a period of time and it's now used by the Electoral Commission, the Scottish Parliament and the Scottish Government. We were able to use that information to start to consider how people got elected to councils and how they progressed to more senior posts such as council leaders. With the growth of interest in petition systems and their more widespread use in the Scottish Parliament, National Assembly for Wales, Westminster and in, and in local authorities, Catherine Bockle has undertaken some work on, on those which has effectively become the main source of information on on how those petition systems operate. There's also considerable interest in the school around notions of citizenship and participation, and that brings together the work of several academics, myself, Catherine Bockel, Jackie Briggs, and Ben Kisby, largely around the idea of how citizens can, can have some say, get their ideas into the political process. Initially, much of the work has been unfunded, but there's also, there have also been a number of elements of it that have been funded, including recently by the Electoral Commission, by the British Academy and by the Nuffield Foundation. The work on elected bodies, participation and representation has been quite widely used by organisations including governmental bodies such as the, the Scottish Parliament and uh, select committees at Westminster and by campaigning organisations, for example, those that want to get the voices of women and, and young people more heard in politics. Mm -hmm.